The presidential campaign is on full blast in the United States. The issue of survival of the nation will fall squarely on the shoulders of the next president. Yes, Jesus was interested in government. His message was about a government to rule the world and bring us world peace. A person is not really a Christian unless he follows Christ, acts as Christ would act, unless Christ is living his life in him. What would Jesus do in this crucial election? Why did Jesus come? To get into politics? To strive against the forces of evil in this world? To make this a better world for humanity to live in? Now you can go to listen to the political speeches. They'll tell you, everyone says, vote for me. I'm going to straighten everything out. I'm going to reduce taxes, but I'm going to give you everything. And you know, everything the government gives you is only what they can take from the people in the first place. And they get part of it back. And people don't realize that. But people want to get. So they want to get from the government. And they vote for the man that will get it. The promise is to give them the most. So that they can get the most. The government of God is coming. And what is government? Government is based on law. Government is based on a basic constitution or a law. And a law or a constitution merely is a way that regulates our lives. It's a way of life. A lifestyle. And the whole trouble is we have laws that allow wrong lifestyles and wrong ways of living. And we're going to have a government that will be based on the law of God, which is outflowing love. Jesus came preaching the kingdom of God. He said that his kingdom was not of this world, but of the world to come, the world tomorrow. This is not his world. Jesus did not try to straighten out this world or make it a better world. Jesus did not enter into politics, and he did not try to overthrow the government of Caesar, though he was accused of it. He didn't enter into the government of Caesar. He merely submitted to it and taught we should pay taxes, that Caesar had a right to levy the taxes if he wished. They certainly are not following his steps when they get into politics and do that sort of thing. What Jesus taught was that this present world, with its governments, its religions, its economies, its society, is an evil world. It is Satan's world. It is a world in competition against, and at war against, his coming kingdom, the world tomorrow. And then he says, come out of her, my people. This whole Babylon, actually, my friends, it's a way of life. It's a type of civilization. It includes the military idea. It includes the political ideas. Of course, we've got different political ideas in the United States, but yet the principle is the same, my friends. It certainly is not the government of God. And what we behold on the earth is governments of man, by man, for man. And uh, the ideas of man, instead of the governments of God, and the gospel that Jesus brought was the government of God over mankind. God is the supreme ruler. What then would Jesus do in this time of presidential election? He would be too busy proclaiming the good news of the coming world ruling kingdom and the way of salvation to take any part whatsoever in the politics of this present evil world. Subscribe to this channel for upcoming Herbert W. Armstrong content.